Hi guys, my name is Kelov um, and today I will show you how to set up um, how to set up my KP management uh, in your server. So I will uh, I will go step by step I, uh, in the config file and I will show you how it works basically. So let's check it. <coughs> okay, so this is your config file for your KP management. Uh, basically, the first steps you don't need to change it uh, unless you have a custom event for your KV core uh, platform or framework. But in case you have uh, the the general uh, KV core, uh, so you don't need to to change these lines. So you just uh, need to. So these lines are the, the general events. In most cases, you don't need to change it. Uh, this is your inventory event, your inventory for uh, set the stash. Um, by default, you don't need to change it to only if you have uh, custom inventories with different uh, event names. This is the vehicle keys, so you, I think you, you, you don't need to change it to. Here you can put some a custom a full um, script that you uh, that you have in your server. For example, f uh, if you set up here something like this. Um, your your cars when you take cars from your uh, jobs garage or gangs garage the um, the cars will be with an under percent of a uh, fuel. Okay, this property you can turn it on or off. So if you if you put it uh, true, uh, you will use the target instead of uh, uh, instead of um, blips. Uh, it uh, it's not blips. Um, so instead of click uh, in the KE, you will use target. Uh, here it's the target resource name, your money identifier, the the key. If you don't if you don't use uh, so if the use target is false, you can define the the key uh, to press, and by default it's the E. Um, this is the distance to see the blips. Uh, this uh, property use third-party integration by default, uh, and usually you don't need to change it. You just need to change it if uh, you want to add some custom behavior to your gangs. But in any case, you can ask me for uh, for help in Discord if you don't know how to add customs behavior. But if you don't know how to add customs behavior, probably you don't want to use it. Okay, so let's um, let's check the next part. And now they are the, the most important part. Okay, config for jobs manager. Uh, first of all, you need to have these jobs, uh, in, in this case, burger shot or mechanic. You, first, you need to create them in your core. In your core, you have their uh, jobs uh, file and the gangs file, so you need to have the jobs created in your core, in your KB core. This is like a pre uh, pre requirement. You always need uh, the the job. The no the job should exist in your server. So after that, uh, this property here is for creating the the boss uh, men menu in the game. So for example, uh, if, if I have, if I am a burger shot boss, burger shot for, Burger. 
burger shot. I'm spelling it wrong. Burger shot boss. So now I am the the burger shot boss. And if I come here, I think it's okay. This is on duty. I think I set the pit here. Okay. So I have all these options. So in your server. To set up these options, this menu, uh, you need to to put the the, the cores here, and you can uh, turn on the the manage employer or turn off the manage money. So if you set, for example, man, man, manage money to false in your server you will not see this uh, menu here this part and if you set the man management employees false you don't see the this part here and so on so you have the same option for boss inventory uh, this is uh, your boss inventory um, eight and number of slots this is the, the option to to change the outfit uh, with the boss menu um, and this one uh, it's you just need to use to set it to true if you are using the 5m appearance appear, appearance in your server if not uh, let let this by default uh, as false <coughs> Okay, so this property is the jobs manager. You just need to set up the court and enable or disable uh, the menus like you want. Next property, gangs manager. It's the same thing for configuration, but here is related with gangs. But it's the same thing. So next, jobs on duty. Jobs on duty, basically you can define one... Um, you can define one or multiple cords and um, basically you can for example you can come here and you can enter or leave your job so basically I can uh, go, for example now I am off duty if I come again now I am on duty okay this is simple Next one, jobs garage. Okay, so for example, I have one garage for burger shot, and I have there one um, one car for my job. I don't have any custom properties, uh, custom props, and I have delivery one. So for example, I can show you here. For example for gangs garage so basically it's you just need to to set up uh, multiple uh, multiple um, uh, objects if you want more cars so for example if i want another car i just need to do something like this Re rename this to two and now i can add a primo car to burger shot for example primo and this will have a new car to the burger shot um, job see here it's easy if you want add custom props uh, for your cars you can simple see an example in the gang garage uh, so the gang garage uh, <coughs> Basically, it's the same configuration as the, the jobs garage. Uh, but I have here some examples. So, for example, this car, they have uh, this color. The window is uh, black, I think. Uh, so basically, you can have here multiple multiple custom props. If you want to, to know more type of custom props that you can do, that you can have here, you you should check this property, uh, this property, no, this uh, function in your Kiwi Core, 
and inside this function you have a lot of uh, props um, that you can use here okay so the garage location i think it's easier it's easy it's uh, basically the garage uh, the gun garage location and the jobs garage location are pretty the same uh, one for jobs one for for gangs and that's it you can have one court with multiple vehicles inside uh, okay I think I forget to uh, show you no no uh, where is I think I forget to show you something here okay yes so <coughs> With my script, you have a, uh, an option to to sell your job or your gang in game. So, for example, if you see here this property, buy buy in game. You can see here. I have an example with Bagus. So basically, if you uh, if you want to, let's say, I want to say, I want to put in game the gang uh, the gang ballas um so i i want to sell gang ballas in game instead of uh do the set job manually as a, a, a admin so basically i can copy this example i can come here i can paste it and now i will say i will charge to two million um and i will remove um 40 percent uh, uh, 40 percent uh, uh the price so basically i buy it for two million but if i want to sell it uh, i will lose 40 percent of the price of the the initial price um, this is the location where the where the the information to buy the the gang is this uh, this is to show a blip on on the map or not um, this is to show the business blip on the map uh, so after you buy the business so first uh, if uh, if the business is empty so it's free to buy you you can show one blip on the map and after you buy the business you can still you can show uh, another blip on the map and here it's the the type of blip that you want to show uh, in the map basically uh, this is um, a 5m a blip id okay so i can show you so for example if i go to this location tp tp okay i think i am here somewhere it's here so you see on the map by organization uh, kalof gang for uh, one um, for a hundred thousand so if I want to buy this organization uh, instead of doing set gang so basically instead of do doing this by a an admin I can define jobs or gangs to sell or buy in game so I, I buy this so basically I will pay this price uh, organization name uh, uh, test and I have some animation here uh, buying the organization and uh, you I have no money okay um, give uh, I think it's give, give money uh, I think I can do give item I have the item as a, and as a money um, Man, no, it's cash. Cash. Okay, I will buy it again. 
test. And I think this is a good option to give your players a better role play because you can have a lot of small jobs like uh, coffees or uh, uh, I don't know a store to sell bicycles and I think this is uh, very nice to 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 have this option in your server to buy and sell uh, gangs in the game so for example now I am the owner of the Bagus and if I go to this court I should have there the boss menu the boss menu tp okay boss section see now I, I am able to to manage the bugs organization and I can, I can sell it again but I will lose money if I sell it because uh, uh, um, this value will depend of um, this percentage here I put 20% so 20% I will only earn uh, I will only uh, earn 80,000 yes that's it 80,000 yes so I think this is a good option for your server um, I like it very much <laughs> but let's see the next next step so gangs armory okay this is easy I think you just need to put here your gang name and basically you can define one or multiple slots multiple cards something like that you can define multiple slots uh, and you will have multiple inventories for your gang uh, these inventories are not only for the boss so all the players uh, all, all your gang players will access to to these uh, inventories and this is the same for the jobs basically okay now okay this is the uh, this is a configuration for the buy option blip so for every 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 gang or job that are for selling uh, that are in the market in the market they will uh, receive this uh, blip in the in the in the map okay so this is the timer for buy the job the cash uh, to pay to pay okay this you already know this is the language um, okay this is a notification logs so if you want add logs to your server you just need to uh, uncomment this trigger if you have another type of logs you can add it here uh, and that's it guys um, I don't know if you like this type of videos explaining the setup for the the, the scripts if you like uh, smash the like button for I know if you like or leave some comments asking for uh, another uh, thing maybe I miss something that you need to know um, yeah that's it if you like it put uh, put the like in the video uh, and if you like I will do more with another script if not uh, this is just a, a test <laughs> to see if you need it or not uh, in any case I, I think the script is very simple um, but uh, I'm here to help so see you next time